We hate the Saxon and the Dane. We hate the Norman men. We cursed their greed for blood and gain. We curse them now again. Yet start not, Irish-born man, if you're to Ireland true. We heed not blood, nor creed, nor clan. We have no curse for you. We have no curse for you or yours, but friendship's ready grasp, and faith to stand by you and yours unto our latest gasp. To stand by you against all foes, however or whence they come, with traitor arts or bribes or blows from England, France or Rome. What matter that at different shrines we pray unto one God? What matter that at different times your fathers won this sod? In fortune and in name we're bound by stronger links than steel, and neither can be safe nor sound but in the other's wheel. As Nubian rocks and Ethiop sand long drifting down the Nile, built up old Egypt's fertile land for many a hundred mile. So pagan clans to Ireland came, and clans of Christendom, yet joined their wisdom and their fame to build a nation from. Here came the brown Phoenician, the man of trade and toil. Here came the proud Milesian, a hungering for spoil, and the Firbolg and the Cymry, and the hard enduring Dane, and the iron lords of Normandy, with the Saxons in their train. And oh, it were a gallant deed to show before mankind how every race and every creed might be by love combined, might be combined yet not forget the fountains whence they rose, as filled by many a rivulet the stately Shannon flows. Nor would we wreak our ancient feud on Belgian or on Dane, nor visit in our hostile mood the hearths of Gaul or Spain. But long as on our country lies the Anglo-Norman yoke, their tyranny will stigmatize and God's revenge invoke. We do not hate, we never cursed, nor spoke a foeman's word against a man in Ireland nursed, however we thought he erred. So start not, Irish-born man, if you're to Ireland true. We heed not race, nor creed, nor clan. We've hearts and hands for you.